How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you how to get uh, stock alerts on your Android phone or device. Um, you download a free app which is called Stock Alert. I just downloaded it um, yesterday and the um, app works really good. These are a couple of the widgets I have for it right here. So these are some of the stocks I'm following. Sprint, Best Buy, Facebook, and Satellite Radio. So here it'll show you the price and you know the ups and downs, the percentage. But let me show you the actual app here. So stock alert. So it'll show you like the market, you know, stuff. What you want to do is you want to go over to your portfolio. And here is where you're going to actually add the stocks that you want to watch. Okay, right now it's doing like, uh, it's syncing up with Google Finance. So let me let it do whatever it's doing right now. And then we'll uh, jump back into the mix of things. Okay, so your portfolio is where you want to go because pretty much this is where you're going to pick the stocks that you want to watch. Okay, so right now following Google, Best Buy, Sprint, Satellite Radio, Facebook, Apple, and the Dow. Okay, so you're going to tap on your menu button. Now my menu is right here, but yours might be somewhere different. You just tap on menu and then you tap add stock. Okay, so then we can put in, you can put in the company to search for, or you can put in the symbol if you know the symbol. So I'm going to put in RAD, which is for Rite Aid, because they're a good penny stock I watch. So there it is, Rite Aid Corporation, go ahead and tap on it. And so now, Rite Aid is on my list. Now before you can set an alert, the stock has to be on your list. So Rite Aid is $1.22. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on the stock. And it'll take you to a more detailed section that you can break it down by the day, five days, three months, a year, whatever. Now, here's where you set the alert. So you can set, hey, you know, let me know when the stock goes above this price or below this price. So I can set my alert for like $1. Let me know if it goes below a dollar. And then I want to tap this box that makes it active. Once you do that, the alert is set. That's all you have to do. And you can set a, a, you can do a simultaneous alert. So we can do two dollars here and one there. And now I have two alerts going. And uh, just to show you a little bit more about the app, it'll show you the news about the company, how it's doing. Um, so you can just kind of get an update on where they're at right now. This is probably the closest app to the stock app that comes with iOS. And I'll say that, that's one thing I love about iOS, I love that they give you that, that great stock widget. It's simple, you know, it, it shows you the, the, the charts, it shows you the, the articles. The one, the one thing it doesn't have though is stock alerts. And that's what I like about this, that this really opens it up and allows you to, hey, you don't have to sit there and watch stock every day, just let the app tell you when the stock goes up or down. Now watch this, I'm going to go back to the main screen. Right now, there's a little red triangle with a dollar sign in it because I set an alert for this stock yesterday. Uh, excuse me, Sprint was trading at around 517, and I set my alert so that if it dropped below five dollars, to send me something, and it did, and that's why that alert was still on there. Okay, so um, the alert will actually come through your your pull down screen, so it'll show up right there, and. Um, it just it's simple to the point and I love that there is a widget that's connected to it so if you look right here these are the widgets where I can kind of follow the app throughout the day if I want to but I don't have to because I have my alert set so this is uh, again the app stock alert it's free there also is a tablet version that's a little bit bigger for your screen so definitely encourage you to download it uh, it's really going to help you just keep an eye on your stocks and Hopefully find out when it's time to buy and sell. Alright, so 
Hope this was helpful. If you found it helpful, go ahead and like the video. Uh, subscribe to H2 Tech Videos and keep watching. Have a good one.